The Pacific Ocean is larger than we can imagine. Even if you were to dig a hole through the Earth from the coast of Chile, you'd end up in the Pacific Ocean on the other side. In this video, we'll once again explore the vastness of our world. Out of the five oceans on Earth, the Pacific Ocean is the largest, covering a total area of 165 million square kilometers. To put this into perspective, the total land area of the world is 148 million square kilometers, which means the Pacific Ocean alone is larger than all the mountains, deserts, forests, and islands of the world combined. This immense ocean, with its seemingly boundless expanse, hosts only a sparse collection of small islands, many of which have remained untouched by human feet. Therefore, if someone were to become lost in the Pacific Ocean, the chances of finding them are almost zero. The ocean's sheer size and the isolation of its remote regions make rescue operations nearly impossible. The Pacific's vastness is both awe-inspiring and terrifying, a true testament to the power and mystery of nature. Today, you will learn the extraordinary and true story of a man who became lost in the Pacific Ocean on a small boat and survived not just for 10 or 15 days, but for an astonishing total of 438 days. Yes, this man inadvertently set a world record that no one would ever want to break, spending the most time alone in the ocean. This incredible feat was achieved by a man named Jose Salvador Alvarenga, who spent 438 days adrift on a small seven-foot boat. But the question is, how did he manage to survive alone in the ocean for 14 months? What kind of mental and physical endurance does such a feat require? But before we delve into the harrowing details of his survival, let's explore the events that led him to the ocean in the first place. This gripping story begins in November 2012 in a small, tranquil village called Costa Azul in Mexico. Jose was a 36-year-old experienced fisherman, well-versed in the ways of the sea. On November 17, 2012, Jose and a colleague eager to make a good catch, set out on what was supposed to be a brief and routine fishing trip. They planned to spend just 30 hours at sea, a typical duration for such excursions. Because of the short nature of their planned trip, their small boat was not stocked with much equipment or supplies. They carried only a day's worth of food and water, along with a small cooler to store their catch. Their vessel, modest and unassuming, was prepared for a quick trip rather than an extended journey. Little did Jose know that the next 438 days would turn out to be the most arduous and life-altering of his existence. As they ventured 120 kilometers from the coast, the weather seemed favorable. They cast their nets into the ocean, anticipating a fruitful haul. Suddenly, without warning, a ferocious tempest arose, darkening the skies and whipping the sea into a frenzy. The storm's intensity was overwhelming, and the small boat was tossed about like a leaf in the wind. In a desperate bid for survival, Jose and his colleague jettisoned their fishing gear, hoping to lighten their load and stabilize the boat. They steered towards the shore, fighting the powerful waves and the unrelenting wind. After six grueling hours battling the tempest, they neared the coast, a mere 20 kilometers from their village, with the storm seemingly behind them. Fortune, however, was not on their side. Just 20 kilometers from safety, their boat's engine faltered. Stranded and helpless, they found themselves at the mercy of the ocean. With no means of navigation and their radio's battery depleted, they were severed from their final connection to the outside world. The realization of their dire predicament began to set in, and they were faced with the daunting reality of surviving the vast and unforgiving Pacific Ocean. As they waited for help, strong winds began pushing them back out to sea. The coast that was once visible gradually disappeared. Their boss organized a search party, but it was too late. Five days had passed, and the wind had pushed their boat 450 kilometers away from the coast. They were now in the middle of the ocean with nothing but water in all directions. They knew their small boat was too insignificant to be spotted from afar, and they had no means to signal for help. The food and water they had brought were long gone, and they began catching birds and fish to eat raw. They collected rainwater and plastic bottles, but when it didn't rain for days, they had to drink fish blood to quench their thirst. Understudies turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months as Jose and his colleague faced intense mental suffering in the endless Pacific Ocean. The struggle was not just physical but emotional, with the vast isolation weighing heavily on them. After six months, Jose's colleague could no longer bear the hardship and took his own life. 
leaving Jose alone in the ocean. Underscore Jose continued to survive alone, battling the loneliness and the harsh environment. Occasionally, he would see cargo ships in the distance, but his small boat was too tiny to be noticed. After 11 months at sea, he had traveled 8,000 kilometers. His clothes were in tatters, and he had only a thin undershirt to shield himself from the sun. During January 2014, after 14 months at sea, Jose saw coconuts floating in the water, which Mintland was nearby. He swam towards the island and, for the first time in over a year, he felt solid ground beneath his feet. He found a small house and met a local resident. He had landed in the Marshall Islands, which were 10,000 kilometers from where he had started. If he had missed this island, the next closest land was the Philippines, 5,000 kilometers away. Underscore Jose was eventually rescued and returned home. However, his ordeal didn't end there. He wrote a book titled 438 Days about his experience, but he also faced accusations related to the death of his colleague and legal troubles. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, share, and leave your comments. See you in the next video.